you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm actually going to share with you a lot of diverse independent readers that I have started my daughter off with especially when she started to learn how to read chapter books so if you guys are looking for diverse readers for your young readers especially for your young girls then this video is for you today so let's go ahead and get right into all of the books I am so excited to share them with you guys so if any of you guys Guys are new here to my channel again my name is Brittany I am a mom of a nine three and a one year old and I am actually going into my second year of homeschooling we already started our homeschooling year and I really find that reading has definitely been um, something that has been really easy in our homeschool and I really think that it has been like an easy part or easy incorporation in our homeschool because I have done a lot of research especially for my daughter to help find books that she's able to really enjoy and real books she's able to really see herself through. I really wish when I was growing up and I started to read that we had these selections as far as diverse readers because I know me being a young nine year old I really would have enjoyed reading a lot of these readers. So I definitely want to go ahead and like I said before and just take out the time to share these books with you guys. Now in this video, I think I'm also going to go ahead and have my daughter Brielle come in at the end and have her go through some of her favorite ones and just have her give her, um, I guess, uh, opinions and everything about them because I technically haven't read any of these books. She has read these all on her own. So I feel like she's gonna be one to better give you guys like a real review versus me. I'm just gonna share with you guys the titles. So the first series that I actually got for my daughter, these were actually the first books that she um, transitioned from picture books to chapter books, which was the Jada Jones series. And I was so excited when I found these series just because um, these books definitely could relate to her. Um, a lot of these books are just about Jada Jones. She just had like little small problems and she had to be able to figure out how to overcome them. Like one of the problems she had was on the first book where she was in a group uh, assignment or a group project with her friends and she had to find the people she was gonna work in her group uh, with her rock project. So just simple everyday, I guess, struggles for a young girl. This one right here, the second book was Jada Jones Class Act. And this one was, it says that it's about um, her trying to join the student council and her being a candidate and running for a student office. Um, this one right here is Jada Jones Sleepover or her Sleepover Scientist. And then the last book is actually Jada Jones Dancing Queen. So honestly, I am so excited that I did start my daughter off with this simple series. Inside of this Jada Jones series, it still has like uh, picture books and things like that inside of it. So I really feel like it's really engaging, especially for a young reader, um, just learning to get into chapter books, them still having like those pictures in between. And also the font is very large, so it's very easy. Um, my daughter, she actually started reading these books and she was reading through them really, really fast. And I didn't think that she was gonna get through the whole collection as fast as she did, but she really enjoyed these as beginner readers last year. Now another series that um, she enjoyed was Zoe and the Sassafras. Now what made me go ahead and purchase this series was because this actually goes along with science and STEM. So a lot of the topics that we were talking about science last year, I went ahead and I had Brielle independently read one of the Zoe and the Sassafras books. Um, like this is the whole collection we ended up getting just because I really find that this was a fun way for her to read something independently for her to learn about something new in science. In the back of each one of these books, they do have like a little glossary with the meanings and the things that they were talking about. And I really loved it. I loved it for the fact 
fact that it was just showing a young girl, especially Brielle's age, interested in science and things like that. And I think it's really empowering for girls to see that, you know, they can do things in science and STEM as well. So these were definitely good, um, simple chapter book readers for her to start off with. And she enjoyed the series. I think it's only one book in the series she hasn't finished reading. However, she told me she has to finish the last book because my daughter loves reading series and she just likes just going from the one book to the next. So um, yeah, I mean, but honestly, you guys, as an adult, I don't blame her. I like reading books and series as well, too. So yeah. So the Zoe and the Sassafras, I think they're on book nine right now. Um, as far as like the whole series, we actually have books one through eight. Now, another series that Brielle actually read through over the summer was ways to make sunshine and ways to grow love and this actually follows a young girl named ryan and it just follows her journey uh, with her parents moving to a new um area and it also follows them uh ways to grow love actually follows the family as they introduce a new sibling in their household and i really feel like these were definitely age appropriate stories for her to read i really feel like culturally these stories my daughter was definitely able to identify in in ways to make sunshine uh it was a chapter that my daughter ran to me i was all the way downstairs and she ran downstairs just to tell me about a chapter in this book and i'll give you guys a little spoiler but uh ryan she actually got her hair flat ironed and she went to a pool party and as you guys already know <laughs> ryan's hair it just ended up being back in its curly state and one thing that brielle she enjoyed about that chapter reading about ryan um I guess uh, getting her hair wet and it going from being straight to curly, she really enjoyed how her parents um, didn't, I guess, recommend her for getting her hair wet. They told her, you know, her hair was beautiful whether it was straight or curly. And my daughter, she really uh, liked that chapter in this book. And I thought that it was a really cute and funny one, especially when she came back and told me about it. So again, this is ways to make sunshine and ways to grow love. Um, I feel like out of all the books, after each chapter my daughter came to tell me about, more so when she read this one than um, the Jada Jones and the Zoe Sassafras. So I think these ones were probably uh, some of her favorites. Another series that my daughter read last year was The Magnificent Maya Tibbs. And this book actually has three series to it. When she finished reading like Jada Jones and Zoe and the Sassafras, she moved into these bigger chapter books with no pictures and she really just devoured these books. And I was really proud of her because I thought that transitional phase going um, into chapter books would be a little bit longer. However, once she kind of like got the feel for these chapter books, she was just on and she was ready to go. Um, I definitely feel like the Magnificent Maya Tips was like her favorite series of all last year, just because after every chapter, she would say, mommy, that chapter was so juicy. And she would just come back and tell me about everything in these chapters. And I really Really feel like um, this series was probably her best. I could be wrong, we'll find out when we talk with her a little bit later, but um, she really enjoyed this series and I really feel like this is a young series. This follows along Maya Tips, who is a nine-year-old and it just, uh, just follows her along her journey within school, within again, adding a new uh, baby in her family and then also follows along with her um, this one was a really good one that I liked when Brielle read. It followed her along her journey when they had spirit week at school and she was paired with someone that she necessarily didn't like. And in the end, they became friends. And I really like for Brielle to read about these social situations just because she will be faced with these situations, especially growing up where she does have to work with people who she may not agree with, but at the end of the day, they have to be able to get that project done. And I really enjoyed her reading this book and I think she really enjoyed this one as well. So. Um, if you have like a nine year old girl who um, you feel as if is ready for uh, to talk about like just social type of regular things that they deal with, especially at that age, I really feel like the Maya Tip series is definitely a good one. My daughter has not always been homeschooled. We're Like I said before, we're going into our second year of homeschooling. So these school and social situations, she definitely was able to um, relate to them because she probably faced a lot of these, especially when she was in public school. So yeah, these were definitely her favorite. 
Now I have some of the new books that I actually picked out for her for this year. She's actually started on a few of these series and some of them she hasn't so I really don't know how they are. This is the only series that she's almost finished with which is Ruby and the uh, Brooker Bug, the Ruby and the Booker Brothers. And this series follows Ruby um, as she's going into school with her older three brothers who are really popular and they already have a name for themselves and Ruby has to go in and has to show people who she is outside of her brothers. And so far Brielle has enjoyed this series. Um, I guess we'll see how she likes it when she talks to us, but I mean, she hasn't said anything bad about them and she's been devouring these books. I really feel like these books are a easier read for her, especially since she's already past like that um, hump of going from the chapter books with bigger uh, font and still having pictures in them. This honestly, I would say is like an earlier reader. However, I still like to give her a little bit of mixture because I don't wanna just give her um, books that are just really really challenging all the time because I still want to test like her comprehension and to make sure that she's able to comprehend what she read and the story so I do like to give her a mixture of books that are actually on her grade level as far as reading comprehension and then others that are a little bit below or right in between um, just to continuously give her that variety but this series again is called Ruby and the uh, Brooker Brothers. Oh, here goes the last one. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> here goes all of them in the series. So yeah. So these books right here, you guys, I actually got a lot of these ones from free from the Kellogg's um, book promotion. If you guys don't know Kellogg's, uh, the cereal, every year during back to school time, they typically have like a book promotion where um, if you buy a box of cereal, um, you can get a free book. So a lot of these books actually were free um, from the Kellogg's and I'm really excited that I was able to get my hands on these. And these are the Diamond Daniel series. I'm not too sure if Brielle started these yet or just read the first one, but um, this one, the first one is called Diamond Daniels, Make Way for Diamond Daniels is the first one. The second one is Diamond Daniels Rich. This one is Diamond Daniels Almost Zero, and this one is Diamond Daniels Halfway to Perfect. So this series has four books in total. And like I said, I don't know if Brielle started these or not, but when we ask her, we'll see. But these are actually on her list for her independent fun readers that I have her um, reading in the afternoon or the evening. Another new series that I got for Brielle is, um, this one is called um, Lena in the Spotlight. And this one actually is a series of three books. So I'm really, oh, let me put it in order. <laughs> so I'm really excited for her to uh, read this series. This series is um, pretty much just about a 12 year old girl who, um, pretty much is able to follow her dreams in the spotlight. She's able to act, but also too, she has to be able to balance um, just school life and family life as well, um, along with pursuing her dreams at a young age. So we haven't gotten into these books. She hasn't gotten into these independent readers, but I'm really excited for her to follow Lena in her journey. Um, I really think that she would like these. As you guys can kind of see, my daughter has a trend to the specific books that she likes. She loves reading books just about regular everyday people and their life. Um, she's not really into like the animal or the mystery books. These books right here are right up on her alley. So when I seen this um, Lena in the Spotlight series, I definitely had to get it for her and again these um come with three this one is hello star this one is daydreamers and movie screens and the last one is shining night so i can't wait for brie to read these and i hopefully she likes them as well now another book that i actually got for her is liberty porter first daughter and um, this is about a girl. It sounds exactly what it's about her being in the White House. She's the first daughter. And I'm really excited for her to read these ones. This one I believe comes in a series of four. And again, my daughter loves series. So if she likes the first one, I always go back and buy like the rest of them. I just wanna make sure she likes them. So this is another series that she's going to read this year. Hopefully it's good. I would definitely have to come back and make a later video, especially on the books that she 
hasn't read yet, you guys, just to let you know how they turned out, if she liked them and like what were her ratings for them. But this is called, again, Liberty Porter's First Daughter. Okay, Brie, go ahead and pick out your top three series you would like to share with um, everybody. Okay. Okay, so these are my top three series on the floor right here. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead. If you could, if you had to number them one to three, what would be your first favorite series you've ever read? Um, my first favorite series would be um, Magnificent Nine Tips. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and what I like about this series is how it was just talking about. Maya and her and her hard times and her good times and she and she was making new friends and she was doing different challenges and I just like this because I dug straight into this one right here and all of them I just dug straight into them and it was really fun reading them and then and these are also were also my first chapter books your first bigger chapter books because mm -hmm. you started off with Jerry Jones mm -hmm. and um that got me just reading all my these other chapter books I have inside my bookshelf and now and so if it's if it's a young girl or a young boy you would definitely recommend them to read the Maya Tip series definitely okay now let's see your second favorite I'm the who would not want to for okay <laughs> let's see your second favorite the next second favorite is Ways to Girl Sunshine, uh, Ways to Make Sunshine, Ways to Girl Love. I loved this one and this one. This one was really nice. It it's pretty big, and I like I like um big chapter books like my tips. So I like this one because it was pretty big, and I got deep into. It. You did. Mm -hmm. And I like the pictures on it. It was really cute. And then there. And they're, it was just like a mystery kind of, because they're trying to figure out who owned something in this one. Okay, try not to get too many spoilers. Okay. I'm not going <laughs> to spoil you out too much. Good job. And you, you just said earlier you wish that this book had a third book on Ways yeah. to Make Sunshine. I wish it had a third book because it, I just, after I read this one, the last um, book of the series, I just want more. I just didn't feel like it was the end. Like, after this page right here, I was like, I want more. <laughs> well, we'll see if the author might decide to make a third book in her series. So now your third favorite is actually Ruby and the Booker Brothers. That was a new book Booker. you just read. Booker Brothers, thanks for it. That's the book you just read this year. So, or the series you just got finished reading this year. Yeah, I got finished reading this one. I started on, I started on um, the first day of school and it took me, me two days to read this one because I, I looked at my reading log and it said eight, um, it said August 4th and I start my first day of school on August 2nd. Okay, good job. So Bree, so what is, could you give mommy a, a short summary about that series? So I like this series because I liked how she was going on a different adventure in each one. And I liked how she was always getting along with her brothers and never fighting all the time. I mean, she was kind of fighting with her brother in this one, but she was, I just liked how she was always nice and, um, and kind to other people and not mean. I just liked how she was a nice sister, even though she was the youngest. She was always a nice sister. And um, <clears throat> she, um, She's just doing all types of stuff, and she's in third grade, and yeah. So you really liked it? Okay. Yeah, I really liked it. It was a really good series. Even though they're pretty thin books, I still liked it. You still liked it? Okay. All right, thanks, Bree, for your review. You're welcome, and I hope you can get these books so you can enjoy them. So you guys, I really hope you enjoy seeing all of the diverse readers and things like that that I have picked out for my daughter, uh, books that she has read, books that she's gonna read. I hope you guys enjoy watching her talk about her favorites and everything like that. As always, you guys, I hope this video was helpful to any of you. So um, as always, I will see everybody in my next one. Please Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, bye you guys.